it. Okay, in today's video, I wanted to share with you how you can um, share a post where you are actually uh, segregating it. So more or less are sending it only to specific people or if it's something that you want to share specific um, context or something with another person that you just had sign up. And so when you go to create your post, uh, what you can do is you click on, you know, just basically click on the web talk up there and then it'll actually allow you to start typing whatever do you for your post. But here's where you're, you're going to want to focus on. It's here at, where I told you in the previous video that if you wanted it, it to be publicly displayed and allow everybody to comment on it, there was the the option here in the drop down menu where it, uh, it shows you allow public comments, which is down at the very bottom. Here, let me scroll up a little bit here. Whoops. Um, so, but it's it's in the same drop down section that you want to look. So, like you you can either you can do it there. That's for public comments only. Me, if it's something that you wanted to like share a post that you saw, saw a post on somebody else's um you know feed or something, and you wanted to share it for uh, something for you looking into later. And you know, basically, what you could do is if you click on that uh, the lock there for only me, it'll share that post to your own profile, but nobody else will see it, just you. So that's kind of, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's something like if you uh, wanted to look at somebody who was advertising something or somebody had a nice quote or a story or a video or something you wanted to watch later or whatever, you could always do that. I've done that a few times. Um, but like if you want, here's uh, typically everything um, when you post public, it just goes public. If you wanted to do it, just go to all your contacts and that's people that you have um, have connected with. Those are people that you're, um, they sent you a connection request and you, uh, you approved it or else vice versa, they, they approved your request. Um, so that's where that, that category goes into. Now there's professional context because when you go to add somebody as a connection request, you have the option to mar mark them as a professional contact or a personal contact. And a lot of times you might not know what that person might be. It, it could be something where they could tip, you know, turn into like a business partner or somebody that you could associate with. So you might want to, I usually actually on everybody that I connect with, I typically put both mark them as professional and personal contacts, but I'll leave them as an acquaintance unless I know something direct about them or I know more information. But uh, there's also this feature here, custom groups. And what this can be, and as soon as the computer moves here, <laughs> as soon as, <clears throat> so with the custom groups, it's going to actually, come on, work with me. Okay, here we go. So you can actually, uh, here's this kind of a special feature with custom contact groups. You can mark this post as confidential. That's one thing. Or if it's like in your professional network or your personal network. Okay, so that was what I was just explaining as far as like if you uh, wanted to do it to just like your own, uh, you know, your your prospects or something, somebody in your professional network, it'll have the select the type of contact. And like when you're adding people to as a, a a connection these are the options that you get so like if you had uh clients or customers let's use that as an example um it depends on actually how you i don't have any as a job kind of, okay it depends on how you classified them so if you just classified them as um like a client or you know in this case here that's what i'm using as a customer or something like that you can actually in that other page when you're connecting with them you can actually create a specific um, tag for them. Like in this case here, some of the ones that I have when this starts to move, um, like I'll have, like if somebody comes in as a level one referral, I'll have like a level one, or if it's a level two or a level three. And, and if it's something that it, it's somebody that I might want to, uh, you know, connect with them on a, like a business proposal or something. Say like if I had a client or a customer that I, I knew that they could possibly be a candidate in the future for a special offer or something that I had, you could classify them as a client customer. And then how are you maybe like create a category that says like special offer. So then as you're creating your contacts, um, be sure to separate them out in some way, shape or form. And you can always go back and adjust it. Um, this is something that I wish I would have known how to do this right away because the first probably six months, I've been on web talk for over two years now. Uh, the first six months I was just kind of, I wasn't hundred percent sure how to work it. So I was just, um, 
putting everybody as a, a, a possible network person or something like that. And I, that's the only the way I classified them. So that's one way of doing it. That's for your professional. Um, and same like with your down here, uh, where you have, when you make your connection request, you can have it friend or family or acquaintance. So if you wanted it just to go to people that you have considered friends, um, you would check that or if it's family or whatever, or you could do both friends and family or, and you know, these you can do as many of these as you want. It just depends on how you, uh, classify them as. So if you have like specific family members on here and you just want to say, Hey, Hey, here's some pictures or something from, um, this past weekend on this vacation or something, or I went to, um, you know, here's some pictures for everybody to enjoy. You could do that. And so like in this case here, you know, you just click family and now like if you wanted to, uh, create a special group, you could do that. But like, if you wanted to, um, and we're going to get out of this here in a second. Let's see. Posting select groups. Okay. Um, so after you do that, uh, let's not let me do it. Hang on a second. And let's go in here. All right. Get off of there. I only have to um, get my camera set up on the actual desktop because it's a lot faster. Um, let's do this. I'll just uncheck it. Okay, so we'll close out of that. But that's how you would do it. So as you're adding people to your connections or you're connecting with them, make sure you fill out something on them. Okay, that way if you want something to specifically go to, like I said, friends or family or a specific type of client or customer or something else that falls down in this, because you have even classmate, entrepreneur, partners, vendors, colleagues, investors, or just general stuff like like i said a lot of stuff i've done with uh people as they come in as i usually if i don't know anything about them i'll just do them as an acquaintance and then i can always go back and adjust it if they turn out to be uh somebody that i want to deal with more on like a specific level so then after that that's how you would do it okay and so when in that case there it would show here however you had it um check like it because I, I didn't fill it out it's an, it's coming back to the default is public um, but if I did want to go with that or just my professional contacts or personal contacts, so like these two are like general ones. So if you classified, you know, there's like those six or seven drop down categories for professional contacts. If you wanted your message to go out to all of them, you would just click all your professional contacts. And if for your personal contacts, like I said, if it was something like personal, uh, like with family pictures or something like that, or you just wanted to wish everybody in your family or your friends a happy, you know, or Merry Christmas or Happy Easter or something like that, you could do that also. So then whatever you post here, that will actually go to those people. So if you have, um, like, say you have 20 people that you highly recommend to your um your new, your friends that just signed up or something like that. That's how you would do that. However, you classified those 20 friends when you connected with them, you would put them, you know, in that drop down section, you would click the appropriate um, area and then you would type your message and then just hit post. And then it will only go to those people. It won't go public and it'll only go to the people that you specify it to. And conversely, if you wanted to like specifically tag certain people in here, um, like even in addition to, down here, you could just do uh, start typing their name and it'll actually pull up that person. And that way this um, it's going to hashtag them on the post. That's why you you see some um, posts on there. Um, you'll get some notifications up here by the bell that say so and so tagged you in a post. And then, you know, you would go ahead and look at that. You know, you could send it. And then also it also gives that person the option of untagging it. So when you ever see a post where it says, you know, so-and-so, let's say it says Rick Fronick tagged you in a post, but you don't want to be tagged, you can actually look at the post and untag yourself, okay? So that's another feature that, you know, it's like a lot of stuff with web talk. It's just getting used to it, but it's really the way they have their um, system set up for uh, connecting with people. That's by far nothing like anything else that you see online, whether it's uh, like it's a uh, Facebook or LinkedIn, um, they don't give you those capabilities. And they also don't give you the capabilities of um, just separating it out per a group. Like you could have like 2000 people in your um, friends and family or 
well, that's a lot of friends and family, but it'll get up like 2000 people as like possible customers. And you only want to send the ad to them and not everybody down the line from A to Z. Facebook doesn't give you that option. Um, and so it's like, this is something that's really nice about web talk. So I hope, hopefully you got some great information from this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. And if you have any questions, you can just, uh, message me direct and I will do my best to help you out. So hope everybody has a great day today and we will talk to you again soon. Take care.